What's up, everybody? First ever Kicks press conference. I can't believe I'm even doing this right now. This is going to be funny as hell. But um, this definitely, this is going to be saved and put on YouTube and shit. So, you know, try try your best not to embarrass yourselves and shit. But, uh, yeah, I'm a, uh, for only the bo only both fighters can talk. Uh, you guys can unmute soon as I'm done explaining. Uh, so I got actually got a couple questions from quite a few questions from people across the league and shit and um yeah it's probably take like about 15 20 minutes and that's it you guys are good to go about your day and you guys can go fight on tuesday and shit so you guys may unmute um rick and a uh, non-profit may unmute what's up guys hope you guys been having a good day uh so first First uh question, yo, not uh non profit, you could you could you could unmute yourself too. Um yo, so I got my first question here from Kyle Walker. Uh how does it feel to be fighting for both of you guys? I guess I'll start with non profit first. How does it feel to be fighting for the title again for the fourth time? And and yeah, pretty much how how does it feel for the to be fighting for the title again? You're on a four fight winning streak. I mean, you know what it is, though. Fourth time, I'm on a fourth time, a fourth time winning streak. To be honest, it's another day at the job, my boy. I'm just putting in another fucking hour. It's another person on my belt. And I respect Rick Valentino. He's a good boxer, but I'm going to tell you for real, he's been talking way too heavy to be a new nigga in this league. So I'm kind of happy that I get to watch a nigga like this. And for you, Rick, same question. Uh, how does it feel to be? You just got here like three fights ago, three weeks ago, pretty much. You've been putting in work too, just as much as him. So, how does it feel? You gonna be fighting? Yeah, my my mic is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go. We get you. Yeah, the first thing I think is he should have never said that dumb shit about winning four fights in a row. Like that shit was stupid as hell. You, your last four fights is all against people with negative records. Like, yeah, that ain't, last two fights is all against my beat. That ain't some shit to shut the fuck up. I'm talking. That shit ain't something to be like impressed about. Bro. That ain't something to be impressed about. You feel me? That's like I don't understand how you talking about a fight or fight after the fact that you just been here for two fights. It's just it don't make sense to me. In terms of numbers, it don't add up. Fuck, you mad at me about it for it. Take that shit up with the with the internet. That shit I, ain't, I ain't mad about it. I ain't mad about it. I'm just saying, like, yeah, you sound, you sound like the type of nigga who think he should deserve everything just because you hate. Like, nah, bro. You sound like nah. you, you feel like I take everything you work for. I mean, to be honest, you ain't taking shit. You taking everything I work for, you Valentino. So, oh, yeah. I just think, uh, I just think, uh, I just, but anyway, the question, you know, if you're good to fight for the title, but I just wish I had a better opponent. <laughs> All right, so next question from Capri. He's actually an up-and-coming contender. He's j almost just as new. He's too annoyed coming up. His question for both fighters as well. I get the same thing. We'll start off with non-profit. How are your confidence levels generally, and how do you think your opponent will try to secure a win from, from you? Valentino going to try to secure a win. Well, he's going to do the same shit he always do. He's going to box. He's going to do a lot of good head movement, do a lot of good counters when he feels like he can slip things. Uh, whenever he sees the IQ building up, he's going to try to build momentum. But another day at the fucking job, bro. Hmm. And for you, Rick, same question. How do you think your opponent will try to get a win from, secure a win from you, and how are your confidence levels? I mean, I, I really don't know, to be honest. Like, I don't see nothing helpful for him so far. Mm. Like, he make a lot of mistakes. I think I think my advantage is going to be his mistakes, that's all. Interesting. These are great answers. Uh, all right, so I actually have a question as well. This was a, this is another... But hey, hey, but hey, that's, that's a good answer he gave, though. I give him that. That's a good answer. All right, and so I actually have for me personally, I got questions for both you guys as well. Uh, we we are gonna get to questions where it'll just be individually for each of you guys. Um, but uh, this one is: given if either of you winning the belt becoming and new, 
how long do you guys plan on defending it? How many title defen de defenses until it's said and done for each of you? So I guess, like I said, again, we'll start with nonprofit. So, to be honest, um, that's something that I can't answer right now because there's a lot of things with winning the belt and what this means to me at this point that I can't just disclose you feel me, just talking about defenses and all that. But when I get the belt, I fight every opponent and take them just as seriously when I'm in my bag. So I'm here to stay. And for you, Rick? Yeah, I mean, uh, I fight as long as there's some, some good opponents to fight. I don't want to feel like just bullying people. But as long as you got good opponents, I keep fighting. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, we're going to the first question where... All right, for Jer uh, for nonprofit, um, this for this question is from it's LDN. Uh, this one specifically says, "Do you think Rick Valentino is any true competition to you in your skill level, and how do you plan on sleeping him?" My skill level, Rick Valentino being true competition. I can't say he's not competition because he's here. You know, the guy's here. Is he gonna be a problem? This guy. But you know, remind me, how many times did you beat Baptunchi? Who? Baptunchi, the, the nigga who just had the tail. How many times? I don't know. I mean, I've never fought him in this league. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But when you, you, you say you fought him in another league, how many times did you beat him there? What the fuck he got to do with me? I mean, <laughs> I mean the, the point I'm trying to get at, bro. Let me ask you if you think I'm competition, you bring up somebody else. Like, yeah, I, I, I asked that because the point I'm trying to get at is niggas who already washed you easily is niggas who, you feel me? Have problems with niggas like me, so I don't, I don't really feel threatened by. It. I don't know how much he paid you to say that shit just now, but you are you ain't buying that shit. Bro. I mean, shit, we gonna, we gonna split a couple racks after I'm done with you, shit. Don't even worry. Uh, I think he's already split a couple racks for him to get you to say that dumb shit. Endorsements and sponsorship. I believe it, trust me. All right, um, uh, we got a question from. Uh... We got uh, this one's from Burnt Fruit for Rick Valentino. Uh, are you going into this fight the same way you did your last three fights, like pretty much no warm ups and and drinking and stuff? Is this a form of underestimation towards your opponent? I mean, I ain't trying to like, uh, I ain't trying to like glorify drinking or nothing. But <laughs> nah, nothing like yeah, that. I, nothing I, like I that. Every fight, every time I don't fight, every fight gonna be the same shit, bro. Like right now, while we're doing this, I'm on, I'm on FIFA right now. I don't touch UFC unless it's for like a new fight. I don't play the game. How long you been playing for? I played it until I got bored, which was like a year and a half ago. Nice. I played it from the time it came out until like a year and a half ago. Yeah, it's actually a lot of time. Nah, this is. It's definitely going to be a good fight between both you guys. Um, we got another question from CJ King. This one's for uh, specifically nonprofit. It says, how do you feel about fighting someone who doesn't have a loss yet, and how do you anticipate handing an undefeated guy his first loss? I feel like that's the same question. That's the same question of what do, what do I feel about how threatened I am in terms of this opponent. These are all the it's questions the I'm thing. getting. You know, it's like, respect, he's a good fighter, but nothing new. And same from uh, CJ King to Rick, Va uh, I got a, for Rick Valentino, uh, I got, it says, what have you seen or done that has allowed you to remain completely undefeated at 3-0? and How do you plan to overcome this challenge in front of you? It's pretty much a lot of similar questions, but I guess. Yeah, that's cool. I just find a way. I'm far from the best, but I just, I just, like, when I get rocked and shit, it don't do nothing to me. I just, you know, I feel the same way as I do when, when I'm up in the fight. 
Now, you be watching my streams while I'm playing. I'm playing music, chilling, and nothing changed throughout the fight while I'm up or I'm down. So, I feel from the best fight, and I just find a way to make the shit happen. And last question is actually from Anonymous. This is also for Rick Valentino. Um, given that you're undefeated, so given that you're undefeated, uh, would a would a would a loss really fluster you, or would you be right back at it? Nah, I'm not gonna be special to me. I mean, nobody, I'm gonna be undefeated for forever. You gotta lose at some point, some way. Respect. But I, that's not even in my in my. <laughs> my schedule for this shit there's no I haven't thought about that cause it's no losing I just I don't see a scenario in my losing shit you're telling me you're giving me five rounds and three fights to win this shit and I'm supposed to lose this like I don't know I just don't see a scenario and before we end this press conference like I said it wasn't it didn't even take that long so I guess if you for both you guys um if you had any last things to say to each other about each other, I, this is the best time to say it now. I mean, I feel like everything before the fight has been said. There's been a lot of talk. There's been a lot of animosity. But it's more it's more the animosity of like, young cuz. When a nigga tells you he thinks he knows you, when you never seen shit, it's crazy. You feel me? And then when you just try to give a nigga his props, and then he got like he been here before, like, yo, bro, just sit down. So at the end of the day, bro, I feel like there's going to be a humbling moment for a lot of niggas. And I hope you can make it out the way feeling the same way you did before. I really do. Any last words from you, Rick? <laughs> I love that shit that you just said. Like, I don't know when he gave me props or none of that shit. Well, he did, though. Like, it's not I can't. Right. I Anyways, he said it's going to be a lot of people humble. It, it's not. It's going to be one person humble. It's going to be him, because I'm about to teach him how to shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> you, have to, you have to just know him. Like, I don't even know where this shit came from with me and him. I remember giving somebody, like, some tips or something. And then the next thing I know, he was just... Angry, it's like the angry rapper. What are you so, talking about? What's happening? What's happening? I'm going to tell you how I'm going to tell you how all of this shit was, bro. I gave you tips and you got sloppy about the tips and said, I should just say what the fuck you said. Fuck out of here. Who are you to tell me to tell you me? You didn't give me no tips. There's no tips you could give me that I could take for you. Damn, what tips can you give me? Respectfully. Mm -hmm. Talking about. You know what I'm For both guys, yeah. actually, what you guys think? Hey, we close like three two. Like you said, like you said, remember what I told you. This is the type of shit I be talking about. You just said that was this was all calculated. What I told you like a week ago. You think too fucking much, and that's what's gonna get you fucked up. I uh, don't think too much about this shit. It's so actually, you got what do you guys think in between both of you guys? It'll be easy 3-0, 3-1, close 3-2. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to go in there and have a fight. And if you want to have a fight, you can see how many times we go. But I know at the end of the night, I'm going to say, my bet. That's what I'm going to say. I can't I know that green. Fuck that. Fuck the predictions. Then you're ready to die. That's it. <laughs> I think it's going to be three rounds, bro. The only fight, I can't be, I can't lie, the only fight I ever watched from him was his last one uh, against the dude that was like 5 and 13 or something. Like <laughs> and it, did, it, it didn't look aggressive to me at all. Like, bad representation of what you think you're about to get into. But it's cool. I mean, that's, I don't know what a reputation you would like to show me because you didn't look good against him, so. I don't need to show you anything. That's my point. I was just trying to tell you, yo, you're doing some things that's cool. 
but don't get too hype. And now, you got too hype. And you landed in this position. And it's cool. Oh, my God. There's no way you believe There's no way you even believe the shit you're saying. You got too hype. You landed there's in no way, There's no way you're sitting in your room saying the shit out your own mouth and believing it. But... <laughs> I mean, you hear it, baby? <laughs> That's a horrible answer to what I just said to you. So now I know this shit is true. I actually have a message from Optimal P. Um, he said, well, it's not even a question. It just says he's coming for both of you guys. So, Optimal? Optimal, yeah. Fought Boris. He's a new. He's kind of slightly newer guy. Fought last week. I might have to check that fight out. So any? Shit out. I, don't know. I don't know, bro. Like the last time we fought, you probably had a couple times where you was hitting me in ways that you just not gonna be able to touch me like that, bro. It's not gonna be happening. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, so, so but, I see you out I'm, I'm, I'm planning on it. Yeah, I, I don't know who that is, but that's how I went. I, I get what you're looking for. And so, I don't really know about it, so I can't even say I like it. I like it. So, like, I'm just going to double check. You guys got nothing else to say to each other? I wish I could do face-offs, but you guys got nothing else to say to each other? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's already in the mix. I'm just ready to fight, but cool. That guy. You see, you see, I don't even like talking as much as I did throughout this whole shit, but I like when it's when it's shit like this, I like the hype of it. Okay. It's much appreciated. It's definitely much appreciated too, because I mean, you definitely need to because you're not like the money fight type of guy. Like you won't be having like a. Like, <laughs> it's crazy because it's like my first fight back was my first fight against the champ. You talking about money fights? You you fought the two dudes I beat to get here. So like, who, who's the money fight, bro? I'm the dude they get to the championship. He said four time champion. Are you listening to yourself? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. You said, mm-hmm. And then process it. Mm-hmm. And then open your mouth, and maybe something tangible will come out. But you got here, yo, bro, bro. Like, get him out of here. We don't need you no more. Get him out of here. Listen, 
you might be able to learn something if you listen more. I said, uh, I said, okay. talk to guys to get here. Listen. So two or three people that I already beat, I've been champ four times. All the people that I beat throughout the league are all here watching you talk crazy because they know you might be nice. But at the end of the day, you've never been here before, guys. So relax. Sit back and get your ass ready, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been here for the last however uh, many, probably 20, 30 fucking fights in the last year. Like, I don't really lose in the end of shit. This shit don't make no You're talking about I ain't been here before. This shit make no difference to me. It's just the, 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 the name of the league changed. This shit ain't no different to me. You got, you got a different UFC for we getting on or something? The name of the league changed, you right. But that's that's what the league is. It's the competition. It's who you fight. And now after you fight two people who I'm telling you have been contenders, they hold oh, nothing oh, has even been changed. The, the, last, the last thing I've been thinking about is like, I don't know if I came out the side of your fucking neck and it was at me and then start talking about they seeing you talking about well, pussy. You don't want to be talking about the whole fucking time. What are you talking about, bro? You, you came in here. So how am I talking out my neck when you say you want a title? That's talking crazy to me. Somebody who only had three fights in this league want a title? What the boom, my boy? You not like that? Relax, relax. No, no you, you know you relax. Uh, I, I, I gave you I got you. and you got mad and said I should have said what you said. Hell no, I don't know you, cuz. I said, no, I said, no, I said, I gave you props. I said, you a good boxer. And I said, yo, do your thing. But he could have caught you. And you're like, oh, yeah, I let him. All right, but he still caught you. So if he would have caught you at the right time, he's knocking you out. I'm somebody who could catch you at the right time. All right? So it's knockout time. It's over. Like, I don't know why you're still here. Get, get him out of here. I want to just do a little, like, let's just do a fucking get together now at this point, bro. And after that, 
I just started being in my bag, and then you came in here. And I was just looking for fights in between. I didn't even look for a title fight. I wasn't looking for a title fight. I was just having fun. That's what I do. If you ever check this league, I've never asked for a title fight. Never said, yo, let me get the title fight. I've gotten a fight, and then been told, yo, next fight is going to be the title fight. You came in here saying you deserve a championship. Who are you? I don't know. Anyway, I came to this conclusion that I'm like, okay, who wants a title fight? And I want to fight you. So now I'm fighting you for a title fight once again that I didn't ask for. Right. So, hey, but you can you can ask uh, Chris. I, I asked for you. I said title or not, I want you. I don't even give a fuck about no belt number. I just want to show you. No, me. I know, I know, I know. I remember, I remember. Like, that's the type of fights. I love this. I'm just saying, like I put the hit out on you. The Baba Yaga has arrived, bro. I put the hit out on hey, you. Put this shit up now, right? We good? Yeah, you can leave. Yeah, this is becoming like some goofball shit, but good luck. I see you there. I'll beat you there. All right, beat thank you, you Rick. I'm definitely going to beat me to the ground. Me. Well, I appreciate you guys for coming out to the press conference. This this shit exceeded expectations. Um, yeah, man. Fight on Tuesday. Both of you guys be ready. Yeah, this shit is golden, man. This shit got me hype as, hype as hell. I'm I'm sure everybody else in here is hype as hell, too, so... Uh, thank I you, everybody. I appreciate everybody coming out too. Bro. Right. I appreciate you guys for putting this together. I appreciate uh, Bird Fruit for the promo. Everybody in the chat, you feel me? CJ, Ash Riley. Uh, I don't even know how to say your name. Probably. Ash Valley. I appreciate that. Yeah. Ash Valley. Yeah. So ten, yeah. yes, exactly. Ten. Likewise, thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. You guys may leave.